So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. Holy shit, that's really him. <laughs> oh, what's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? I'm cool with the hug if you are. My ribs still part of the protocol. <laughs> it's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. She's all grown up. I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Yeah. I'm just a little nervous. You should be. This reunion's being filmed. <laughs> okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey. Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Laith, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome. Oh. We are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here.
She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Welcome to Haven. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find our prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so-so reviews. <laughs> hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh yeah? What would you do? I would be clever. Telling the truth only gets you so far. Oh, you hear that, Gabe? You're outnumbered. I'll never surrender. He'll come around eventually. Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? What uh, exactly are you apologizing for? This time around? Maybe the toilet seat? <laughs> Go with the white bouquet. If you're trying to say sorry. That I am, and that I will. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tap? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. How to Kill Everything You Touch, a flower book by Alex Chen. You can make anything pretty, if you shove a bouquet inside. This gnome has been places. The tiny house movement is really taking off. I hope Charlotte likes the lilies. Aw, I wonder who they are. Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. 
Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. What if I don't get in? Shit, what if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. What if I don't get in? Shit! What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? Once I'm done looking around, we can head out. Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Mm, about three years now. I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Just watch your feet. Yep. Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. I just don't want you to fall. Well, here we are. Wow. Good to know. So, stuff just explodes around here every now and then. Sometimes you can feel it all the way down here. Intense. These are really nice. Thanks. I hand wove every wreath myself. Wow. You should start a business. It's not about the money, Alex. Step one, patch things up with Charlotte. Step two, Alex and Charlotte become best friends and everyone's happy forever. Gabe's pretty nervous about making sure I'll like it here. It's sweet. What did you think of the show? I loved it. Every time I think Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. Hey, don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like zero bees. Step one, patch things up with Charlotte. And step two, Alex and Charlotte become best friends and everyone's happy forever. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. Gabe Chen. Flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. 